Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to be making a weird little creature called Dren from the movie Splice. So I'm just starting with this wooden base and I've got this little drill vise and I've basically just drilled a couple of holes down on each side and then fed some aluminium wire down into the hole and then twisted the aluminium wire up to begin making this armature. Um, it's very important to twist the aluminium wire around itself so you get a nice amount of strength through the armature. I've just done the three sections for each leg and I've done the bend through the arch of the back. There's also a very short tail and a neck and a suggestion of the head. This particular type of aluminium wire is two millimeters thick so it's pretty strong but it's really easy to bend and definitely really easy to twist around itself. Next I'm bulking out the overall form of the creature using just basic kitchen foil and I've just put it over each of the wires and then really kind of crumpled it up and squashed it together nice and firm um, so that it's a nice dense structure. I then cover this whole shape with milliput. If you haven't used milliput before, it's a two part putty. You mix the two parts together in equal amounts and it sets rock hard in about four hours. So I just do a very thin layer of that over all of the kitchen foil. This makes it a lot cheaper. If you did the whole thing solid out of milliput, it would cost quite a bit. But going over the kitchen foil makes it considerably cheaper. Next, I carried on using milliput to bring out some of the main features like the shoulder blades, the rib cage, um, a bit of the spine. I've also done some facial features. So I started by rolling a couple of balls for the eyes, let those dry and then I've positioned them, stuck them on with glue and then made the eyelids and things around them. I've also done things like the leg muscles and some of the kind of tendons and things through the legs. Any of these extra features that you need to make, you can just make the rough shape, put it on and then just kind of sculpt it into the form that's there already just by going along all of the edges with a ball stylus and just uh, smoothing it all in. When I added the feet, I've also added a thin layer of milliput onto the base. This makes the whole thing a lot stronger. You can see I've added ears. I've also added these two little antennae things at the front. For those, I drilled two little holes and then I've actually used two very thin entomological pins. These pins are particularly strong and they can be bent to form a nice curve and then the antennae can be built up over the top using milliput. This makes them much stronger and much less likely to actually snap off. I've added various tendons on the legs and also here on the feet. Those will look much better when they're painted but they already start to make it a lot more realistic looking. I've also gone around with some sandpaper just sanding all the body. This really helps to kind of smooth it all in and make it much more kind of natural looking. It also has the added benefit of scratching up the surface ready for the painting stages. So for stage one of the painting stages I've just painted this very basic flesh colour. So I used a little bit of orange, a little bit of red and a little bit of white. Mix them all together and yeah just apply this flat colour over everything. So the paint is basically straight from the tube with hardly any water added to it. It's nice and thick. Next I added a grey wash. I was just feeling it was looking a little bit too bright. So if you mix a grey colour just with black and white and loads of water, when you run it in it goes into all of these kind of deepest areas and it leaves all the higher areas in the original flesh colour. This should add a lot more kind of realism to the whole thing and just make it look a lot more natural. And this is how she's turned out and I'm really pleased with her. So I've painted the base green. Um, I've added a lot of dry brushed highlights just with a much lighter flesh colour than I used before. Um, I've added a bit of red into the sort of um, crack down the middle of her head. And I've painted her eyes black which really kind of makes those pop out. The white highlights took a little bit of smoothing in but I think it's made all the difference. Uh, hopefully this is doing it some justice on this uh, video but in real life I think it looks even better really kind of uh, popped out um, thanks for watching this video check out my other videos of other creatures that I've made from various movies 
hit subscribe if you want to see anything that I post up in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.